Senior Scrum. You are welcome once again to Dr. Ephraim YouTube channel, where we discuss about the eye, how to keep the eye healthy, how to prevent things that can cause blindness, and how to take good care of our eyes. Today we have come with another interesting topic. We are still talking about glaucoma. This video is born out of the question from one of our viewers where she asked about how to prevent glaucoma, which is a very interesting question. So before we talk about how to prevent glaucoma, I want to talk about the causes of glaucoma. We have discussed about glaucoma, I've explained how glaucoma comes, what is glaucoma, what leads to glaucoma, but today I want us to talk about the causes of glaucoma. But before we start talking about the causes of glaucoma, first of all, we have to know that glaucoma is what is hereditary. What I mean by hereditary, that means it runs in the bloodline. If you have any person, father, mother, uncle, brother, that has suffered from glaucoma, there is a tendency that somebody might catch up or might pick up that glaucoma in the family. That's why we always ask of the history, family history, when you are clacking a patient. You always ask the patient, has anybody gone blind in your family? Anybody related to your mother, your father that has gone blind? Once the person says yes, then you have to look at the eye very well, with more with, uh, carefully. So the, uh, glaucoma can be caused by hereditary factor. If you have it in your gene, you will be genetically predisposed to suffer glaucoma. That's number one cause of glaucoma. Then there's number, there's other causes of glaucoma. Number two, with what we call trauma. Trauma induced glaucoma. What I mean by trauma induced glaucoma, if you have had trauma in the eye in the past, there's a tendency that that eye can develop glaucoma in future. For example, you have a punch on the eye or a ball hits the eye or something hits the eye and you quickly run to a pharmacy shop or a chemist shop and bought some eye drops and some tablets to calm the pain and clear the redness. You have actually stopped the pain and you have cleared the redness. But if that eye is not well managed or monitored, the pressure can build up and it can cause glaucoma later in life. So it's called pressure-induced glaucoma. Then there are some other glaucoma that can come up because of the kind of eye drop we are using. In this use of eye drops, there are some patients that have what is called ocular allergy. Ocular allergy, that's itching eye. The eye is always itching. So now the, the, the doctor will be loading them, or the pharmacy or wherever they are buying the drugs from, will be loading them with drugs, eye drops that contain steroid. When you use eye drops that contain steroid for a long time, that eye can develop, the pressure can develop. If there's a build up pressure in that eye, it can equally cause glaucoma. So this is this the third cause of glaucoma. Then the fourth one might be disease condition. If you are diabetic, you are hypertensive, or you are you suffer from what is called hypotension, there is a tendency that it can relate, it can cause glaucoma too. So people that suffer from diabetes, or people that are hypertensive or you are hypotensive, there is a tendency that you can develop glaucoma later. Then myopic patients to people that are short-sighted, there is a tendency that glaucoma can set in. That's why when you see them in the clinic, you have to take good care of them, look at their eye very, very well. Now, since I've explained some little causes or I've summarized the causes of glaucoma, then how do we now prevent this glaucoma from ravaging our eye? You know, glaucoma is called the theft of sight. It can destroy the eye. It can make somebody go blind, even while you think you are seeing. It can give you the phenomenon that is called tunnel vision. Tunnel vision means that you will be seen as if you are looking inside the pipe. Then you must, first of all, identify before you can do what? Prevent. How do you identify a glaucoma patient? Even if you are not a doctor. The first thing you notice is that the patient has this funny gaze. He opens the eye wide open to see because the light that is entering the eye is not getting well to the brain because of the problem at the optic nerve head. So we call it glaucoma gaze. They open their eye very wide when they are walking. Then number two, you see them bumping into objects like table chairs. They hit the table, they hit the chairs. When you see somebody hitting table and hitting chair when he's walking, I'm not saying it must be glaucoma, but you glaucoma become the first suspect. 
Retinitis pigmentosa can make somebody hit the table and hit. There are some other diseases that can cause that. But glaucoma is the first thing you first sus suspect. Then when you see the patient seeing what color bulbs, the bulb of it called the white bulb, having rainbows around them, is called halos. Those halos are signs of glaucoma too. So when the patient has all these signs, you have to say, well, you have to now suspend glaucoma. So having explained this, then how do you now prevent this glaucoma from hitting the eye? Number one is that you have to do a routine eye examination because you must identify before you can prevent. And the only way to identify glaucoma is to come to the clinic and the eye will be thoroughly checked, the visual field will be checked, the pressure will be checked with this Perkins tonometer. If the pressure is checked and it's above 21 millimeter of mercury, that means the person is a glaucoma suspect. You now have to do what prevents. So glaucoma is a blinding disease which is preventable when you detect it early. When you detect glaucoma early, you prolong the lifespan of the eye. But if you detect it late and the eye is gone, there's nothing anybody can do. You only need rehabilitation to help that patient. Then number two, how to prevent glaucoma, you don't use eye drop indiscriminately. Don't use eye drop as if you are just buying a gramot. Eye drop must be prescribed by an eye doctor. If you are having itching eye, especially patients that have itching eye, they normally end up using steroids because the steroid suits that itching faster. It stops the itching faster. But in the long run, it builds the pressure of the eye. And when the pressure of the eye is built up, it causes what is called glaucoma. So using steroid, prolonged use of steroid can cause glaucoma. So now, when you don't use steroid for a long time, you, have, you prevent the glaucoma from hitting the eye. Then if you know you are genetically predisposed or you have a history of glaucoma, you have to do what is called routine examination every two or three months. Because you might check today, you will not have it. Check another three months, you know. It might be towards the end of the year, you might be surprised that the pressure has built up. That means you have what is called ocular hypertension. When you discover ocular hypertension, what will happen? You have prevented that eye from going blind because you bring the pressure down. Then another way to prevent glaucoma is that when you are taking the drugs to bring down the pressure and it refuses to go down, the next thing you have to do is to go for surgery so that the pressure should be, be, be crashed down because pressure build up or increase in trocular pressure is number one risk factor for glaucoma. Then you avoid trauma. When you have trauma in the eye, don't just go and treat the redness or take drugs. The redness will go and pain will go. You relax. No, that pressure, the pressure of the eye needs to be checked. If you have ever had trauma in one eye, maybe when you were younger, there is it's advisable that you visit your eye clinic or visit your eye doctor for the pressure of that eye to be checked routinely to monitor because so that the pressure will not build up. Then if you are hypertensive or diabetic, you're supposed to be a friend to an eye clinic. You're supposed to marry the eye clinic and be doing routine eye examination. Because people that are diabetic, there is a tendency that the pressure might build up. They have likelihood of developing glaucoma. Then those that are hypertensive to are hypotensive, just like there's a group, there's another kind of glaucoma that is called low tension glaucoma, where the pressure is low. So the school of thought believe that is because of the blood circulation around the optic nerve that cause that kind of glaucoma. So now, if you have problem like you are diabetic or you are hypertensive, you then another disease that can trigger or can uh, help the formation of glaucoma is what we call arthritis. Number one, how arthritis will cause glaucoma is Number one, the patient most time they normally give them a particular tablet that is called prednisolone to calm the pain. Once you are on prednisolone, it's a strong steroid. When you take prednisolone for a very long time because of the pain, arthritis pain that you are having, it tends to do what? Build the pressure in the eye. So if you are an arthritis patient and you are on prednisolone for a very long time, it can cause glaucoma. Even cataract, not only glaucoma, it causes less opacity. So if you are any, if you are suffering from any of these systemic diseases I've mentioned, it's, it's advisable to go for routine eye examination for glaucoma screening test, so that you discover if you discover that you have the signs of raising trocular pressure, the doctor will recommend drugs that you can use to prevent the glaucoma. Then another way that glaucoma can blind the eye is true. We are talking about prevention. 
if the doctor has recommended drugs for you to prevent the pressure from building up, and you are not using that drugs very well, for example, drugs that are like gelatin drugs, if you use them and stop, the pressure will build up. It will look like a sledgehammer. When it comes back, it will hit the eye very hard, and the vision will reduce more. So not using your drugs regularly, anti-glaucoma eye drug that they've recommended for you, if you don't use it regularly, it can lead to blindness too. So for you to prevent glaucoma from blinding the eye, you must use your drugs judiciously. So if you can keep all these examples, all this advice I'm giving in this video, and follow your eye, follow your go to meet your eye doctor routinely and check your eyes routinely, you will prevent glaucoma from eating the eye. We will still come up with another episode of glaucoma, but for now, we are going to stop so that our viewers can digest this and get more information later. So to get our subsequent videos that will come up, I will advise you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and then smash the like button, then share, subscribe, press on the notification button so that when we upload new videos, we, you, will, you will see them and then comment because this one we have just explained now this video now is a, 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 it was built up based on the question one of the viewers asked so if you ask question you can convert it to a video and explain more so that other people can enjoy from it thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you all my viewers thank you for all our subscribers Please keep on subscribing and keep on sharing the videos so that we can continue to spread this good news to prevent blindness because blindness is not good for the soul. Thank you.